Hey guys, it's Monica. Oh my gosh, I have not been sleeping lately. I've had, I think it's probably because of all the stress in my life. I just have really had the hardest time sleeping. So I've tried a couple of different products to, you know, kind of relax me and all of that. And I, I was using a, um, a CBD product and, and I found one that really works. So in this video, I'm going to talk about this and that and maybe a little bit of everything. So if you're curious, stay tuned. So, first of all, I, Jay and I have been working um, in the machine shop, which was my father's machine shop, which is attached to our home. It's like on a big, we have a barn that my dad converted like 50 years ago into a machine shop. And you all know my dad passed away, two, it would be two years in July. So we've been working on emptying that out and getting rid of the machines and just doing a ton, a ton of work. I mean, cleaning, scraping, lots of this black carbide dust that have that's been in there. Um, it's just been an astronomical job. So I've been like, my hands have just been horrible. I haven't had a manicure. I haven't gone for a, a pedicure. I haven't had any of that since like last year sometime. And um, my hands are just really awful and my nails are terrible. So I was watching this video from Mrs. Melissa M. And I, I don't know how long ago it was now, maybe a month or I actually first saw it on Facebook. I don't know when she published it on YouTube, but where she was talking about some glass nail files. And, you know, when I had remembered quite a while ago, somebody had talked about what a big difference it made using a glass nail file on their nails rather than an emery board that tears them up more and all of that. But I just, I looked at, at the time, I looked at the glass um, nail files and I thought they're, they're just, too pricey. So anyways, I I was listening and actually reading what Melissa had said on Facebook, how her nails have never been better since she's been using these glass nail files. And I said, I'm going to go check it out. So I followed her link and it brought me to Amazon. And of course, once you start looking at nail files, you get a ton of them. And um, the one that she ordered, I, want, I wanted to order the one that she ordered because I thought, well, she's used it. And I know her, although we've never met in real life, but I feel very comfortable with her. So I, I went on, of course, her purple ones that she had loved, they were like, at the time that I ordered, they were like $8 more than the plain silver ones, right? The plain colored ones. So I ordered a set of the plain colored ones. Now, it has a full file. They're glass, right? It has a full file, a little point. You have to be really careful when you put it in because you don't want to really damage this. So it has a full one, then it has a smaller one this size, except silver. I just ignore the purple for now. And then it had a round um, for the cuticle, for shaping, you know, really pushing the cuticle. So it came in three, three pieces, three sets. Okay, for your cuticles, a larger file and a smaller file. So I took the smaller file and I put it in the motorhome because we went camping and I wanted to, because knowing me, right, I, I need to have something there when we're away. So I took the smaller one and I put it in the motorhome. The bigger one, I kept at home. And then I liked it so much that I knew because all of a sudden I was having one in my pocketbook and then I didn't bring my pocketbook one time and I had a snag and I said, oh my gosh, so... I, you guys are going to crack up. So I knew I needed one for my car and one for the office. So I ordered a second one. Now, at the time I ordered my original one, only the silver one, same thing, Czech glass, made by the same company. I think the company, hold on while I look at it. It's Bonafide Beauty, and it's made it from Czech glass. And um, it's really awesome. So I'm not going to tell you you have to get this brand because I'm sure there might be tons of others that might be more affordable or you might like better. But I ended up ordering two sets, the original one and then a second one because I wanted to have the extras. So I wanted to be able to have one in my pocketbook, one in the car, <laughs> one in the motorhome, and one at home. So hence that's what I've been doing anyways. 
I think I got this, the first one, I think I ordered it, my gosh, um, maybe about maybe about a month ago or three weeks ago or something of that nature. It hasn't been all that long. I don't remember when I actually saw it on Facebook. And, um, and then I ordered the second one. Well, I'm telling you, I, we've been working like crazy out in the barn that we're trying to fix up and get back into, you know, barn shape condition, you know, can, that my nails have just been, anyways, long story short, my nails have been in chemical solutions and degreasers and this and that, and I've been sanding and I've been filing and I've been painting and I've been moving heavy furniture and my nails have been like really beat up. So I don't have pretty nails. I don't have a pretty manicure. I, I really need to have my cuticles. I need to take care of them. I don't have any nail polish. I, I bite my cuticles a lot. Um, so I haven't gone anywhere, but I am so thrilled. If you are a natural nail person, and I know not everyone is, but if you are a natural nail person, meaning that you're not going to go and have a lot of polish put on or or, or wear, you know, um, you go to the salon and have the, the, uh, the, the powder dip. I used to love my powder dip. I, I miss it every day because my nails look so beautiful. But if you don't do that, if you, if you're, you know, your lifestyle is a number one, it's, you don't have the time to do it or maintain it or it's, a, it's expensive, right? Um, and you don't have that time frame and you have natural nails and you just want to be more natural nails. If your natural nails have been like mine that have been like crappy and oh my gosh, have they ever been crappy? Think about a glass nail file and I'll put the link below it probably is going to bring you to Miss Melissa M I'm not too sure if I did it I don't know anyways I'll put the link below and I got it from Amazon just so you can check them out if you like so it's been crazy since we came home we came home Memorial Day weekend we went away went to Bailey's and up in Old Orchard Beach Maine we had a great trip um, it was a long weekend, so it wasn't, when I think of a vacation, I think of somewhere where I would go for seven, ten days and not have a care in the world. That wasn't that type of a trip, but we had a long weekend, and I still had a lot of cares that I had to take care of, but we just had a long, long weekend, and it was really lovely at, uh, up in Old Orchard Beach. While we were up in Old Orchard Beach, we did a lot of biking, and I have been on a quest for, you know, sun protection and sunscreen and all that, trying to be super diligent. And mainly because of I have Mohs surgery coming up and then I've recently have two other spots that popped up. It seems to be the way it goes, which I have not had tested yet. They're putting me on a prescription cream that I'm going to put on those two spots. I'm waiting for it to come in because the at the at the drugstore, it was like even even with the insurance paying for a part of it, it was still astronomical. So I ordered something from my from my my dermatologist. So that should arrive in a couple of days and put that on these two spots and treat that for four days. But anyways, long story short, uh, I've been really super diligent about trying to protect my skin with sunblock and all that. To the point of when I ride my bike, I wear a helmet. I might look so gorky and deaky, but I have two of these sun visors that are, I think they are 50 SPF. I think it's 50 SPF. I have to look it up. Um, I have a black one and I have this blue one and I love them. They are so stinking comfortable. You can put them around your head and you have a little, you have, you can tie them tighter. You can pull a ponytail out. You don't need to. You can put a ponytail above or below. But I actually put these on and put the helmet. I'll insert a picture in here. I know I look gooky geeky weird but that's what I do and it gives me my and I have my black one I think in the picture it gives me a ton of shades if I can find a link I will but I believe I bought these in a store and I just don't remember which store but if I can find a link I'll put them I'll put the link in there so I've been wearing those and I've been wearing a ton of sunblock and then because I wear my hair up a lot, my bio hair up a lot, and my bio hair is very thin, I've been struggling with wanting to have, like, just pull it back and have a ponytail. But I, get, I pull it back and have this little stinky stump. And then when I, my wraps, right, I have the big wraps that I have, there's, there's too much hair for me to pull a ponytail off. And when I buy a ponytail, it's too long, too heavy, it just slides out of my hair. So I have one long ponytail that I've been thinning and thinning, but I still, it's, it's too much hair. So I took one of the smallest wraps that I have, right here wraps, and I maneuvered it. So I pulled the elastic out, so it's an elastic. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's an elastic. So I put this in my ponytail, and I can wrap it around, and I can have it 
as a ponytail hanging off the back of my hair. And I can still, if I want to, I can still put a claw clip underneath it, but I don't need to because this does not weigh down my bio hair and it does not slide out. I just do have to wrap it twice. So I don't know how long this is going to hold on, hold up. Uh, but this is sort of a custom job. <laughs> I just took a regular, the smallest bun wrap that I could find because there are some that are smaller or lighter and there are some that are more curly or more voluminous. And I took the smallest one and I played with it. I thinned it. I took some hair out. And then I pulled it like this with the wrap. And I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to take the, the elastic off completely, but I wanted it to be able to go and wrap around and be like a ponytail. I'm super happy with it, super happy with it. So if I'm riding my bike, whether or not I have this on or not, but if I did have this on in the summer, I could just have this like cute little stinking ponytail hanging off the back, I love it. So I did that, I created that myself. But you wearing the visor under my, and I have a really good helmet, of a helmet, um, what is it, MP3, it's rated, really high rating for if you fall and you have a head injury and all that. So I was like a little bit concerned if I took a heavy visor and had too much play in my helmet, the safety. So this is just super thin. And of course the visor part doesn't affect the helmet at all, but that's what I've been, that's what I've been wearing. And I, I love it. So I, I did that and I'm loving the glass nail files. I just think they're so, they're so, um, they're so cool. I have, um, I have been under a ton of stress, right? I mean, I, I know I've been under a ton of stress. It's just been really, everything has been super stressful. And, you know, my Mo surgery was postponed. It was supposed to be June 1st. It's been, being, it's been postponed. I have a new date, June 20th. And then um, I had a concern with a spot on my lip and a spot up here where I had treated before. So the dermatologist doesn't think it's basal cancer, it's like a precancerous thing. So this cream, it's a prescription that I have coming in. I'm, I'm only getting like a spot treat for four days, twice a day. And what it does, it brings it out, it's scaly, and then it goes away. If there's nothing there, nothing will happen. If there's no precancerous or whatever, like if I would just put it on a piece of my skin and there was no issue there, nothing would happen apparently. So I'm going to try that for this. And then on the 20th, I go for my Mohs surgery, assuming it does not get postponed. Of course, that's the worst time for me because my mother-in-law is coming for a visit. And um, then we have 4th of July, right? I didn't want to go away right before. I didn't want to have this done right before 4th of July. I, I, I know that for at least a while, I'm not going to be able to wear my glasses. And I wear reading glasses. So, you know, and they're actually bifocals. So I, I wear my glasses a lot in my everyday life. And not only to read, but to see. But I'm not going to be able to wear them because of where the most surgery is going to be. So I, I just didn't want to have to do it in a very busy time frame in my life. The beginning of July, we have Irani University at work where, we, where I teach a lot. And you know, it's important that I can see what I'm looking at. So I'm going to have to adapt. I'll probably be sitting there with a magnifying glass or something of that nature, but it's been crazy. So anyways, I have, um, you know, I'm a major, major advocate for CBD. Now, right now you see everything CBD, CBD gummies, CBD oil, CBD hair stuff, you know, CBD is everywhere, everywhere. Um, was it last year or two years ago when I first started talking about CBD and YouTube actually took my video down? It's still down because they thought I was promoting something um, that I should have been promoting. And I, I did dispute it. I said, you know what, I'm talking about CBD oil. That's it. So anyway, since that time, I've of course experienced a lot more um, CBD products. I buy locally from um, a, a, a store that sells CBD sleep tincture and I put that in a little bit of water and drink it and that's really, really helped. Well, a little bit ago um, on the Octoly Network, I saw something from a company called Vida Optima, V-I-D-A-O-P-T-I-M-A, -O -O Optima, Vida Optima. And what they did is, is they have a bunch of CBD products. So this CBD is called a Dream CBD and it's a thousand milligrams. It's comprised of CBN 
and CBD oil. And it also has something in there called, and I'm going to butcher this name. I have the paper in front of me. Asha Waganda. Anyways, it is a... Um, it is an Indian winter cherry or Indian ginseng and it's from an evergreen shrub and it's found in India, Africa and parts of the Middle East. Research has shown that this can help normalize cortisone levels and you know cortisone levels right can really cause a lot of stress if they're out of whack. So by normalizing cort cortisone levels they are reducing stress responses. So. I was like, oh, you know, because I had heard of that ingredient, even though I can't pronounce it, I'd heard of it, and I've heard about the benefits of it for your cortisone levels for stress. So I looked at it, and I said, hmm, it's got CBD and CBN. CBN is an other cannabinoid that, um, you know, has a bunch of different therapeutic effects. It says there's a ton of research out there, but there's still a lot more to be learned about this. So I just thought, I'm going to try it. So I requested it. This was sent to me complimentary from the Octoly Network, from Vita Optima <laughs> in the Octoly Network, complimentary in exchange for a review. So I got this, gosh, you know, with Octoly, you have to do your reviews in 21 days, and sometimes that's really super hard for me. But I got this. It's been about two weeks, so I'm coming up against the gun. And I took this with me camping, and now usually I don't have a ton of uh, problems falling asleep camping, but I've had a lot of worrying stuff happening. So I took it camping, I took it when I came home, and it has totally, it's a game changer. I, for me, this has been a super game changer as far as falling asleep. It told, I can, it didn't start, like the first few nights I didn't really feel any difference. I'm like, oh man, you know, not going to work. But slowly it started to, I could feel my body starting to adapt to it and adjust to it and I increased my dose slowly. You take it, you put it under your tongue and you hold it there for 20 or 30 seconds and then you swallow and I could, I could really feel it. So anyways, what I'm, what I'm saying is this is a dream CBD oil, CBN CBD oil and maybe it's the combination of the ingredients that they have in there but there's a ton of research, and what I really like about this, too, is that you can read their lab results. So I'm going to link, of course, the Octoly information, but going further, go onto their website, read the lab results, because that's really the super impressive thing for me. So I love this. Again, sent to me complimentary from the Octoly Network, from, op from Vidi Vita Optima, <laughs> if I'm saying it right. And I really like this. I think this is a, from, and I know we're all different, right? I mean, you could try this and it might not work for you. I know somebody who, who tries the gummies you can buy on the counter. I cannot think of the name of them now. And swears by them, but they don't work for me. They never put me to sleep. Um, so we all react to products differently. But this has been really cool. This has been a game changer for me. So I really like it. I'll leave all the information in my, my link below so you can read it if you like. I do have some empties that I'm gathering and I'll probably do that as a separate video. But I just, I wanted to do this quick video. Hopefully not too much editing because I'm going to go out and finish a paint job that we're doing. But I wanted to share the results of my ponytail because I had mentioned this, that I was doing this, right? Now, this is a little bit... I t typically, this is an older piece, but typically the hair is a lot softer. This is a little bit on the crunchy side. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a silicone bath. And I'm not too concerned because when I have a ponytail, right, it's not, I mean, it's, it's contained. It's not like I want something that's going to be long and fly away and flowy and, you know, in slow motion, you see the ponytail bounce. So my hair is short. And so having a smaller ponytail or something that I modified into a ponytail just seems perfect for me because I haven't been able to find one. I find some that are lighter that I can work with, but if it's a pure ponytail, no matter what I do, even the ones with the combs and I have some of those, they just pull down on my hair. They're too heavy for my little stinky ponytail. So that's that. So on my head. I have, um, I have a review video out on this and I haven't published it yet, 
but on my head I think this now granted I have this tucked in behind um, but I think this is I think this is awesome I love the angle of this wig I love the back and I and you can pull both forward one forward you can wear your sunglasses you can put it under a visor I really love this wig this is a Henry Margot wig and this is Katie and Katie is I mean really cool I just I love love the stacked chick look of Katie I loved how the neckline is feathered it's got very, very soft bangs. It has a little bit of a monofilament. It has a monofilament. It has lace front. It's just really a pretty, pretty wig. I think for synthetic, this, this is just throw and go. So that's what I have on today. I've actually worn Katie a couple of times out and about, and she's held up super well, and she's so cute. Now, she's a little blonder than I like for me. So I'm seriously going to look at the colors and see if I can pick this up in another color. But this is the color 25GR. And it's, I'm reading, a golden blonde highlighted blend with hints of strawberry. And I think you can see that. Now what I did is, let me show you what I did. I sprayed her with Divine Dark, Batiste Divine Dark just to try to bring down some of the blonde. It really doesn't change the color much, but that's what I sprayed her with. This is a dry shampoo. Sometimes you use this to take out the shine, but the Divine Dark, I think, just gives you a little bit more dimension. But I just feel this is a little bit too blonde for me, so I would really like to, you know, to um, look at this in a darker color because I really like it. It's got a monofilament, great part, a little bit of a lace front, fits perfect and Henry Magoo what can you say about Henry Magoo their lace front is awesome and Henry Magoo makes some awesome products some awesome products so this wig was sent to me complimentary and you can find her probably in most retailers I'm going to link a few that I know below and um, yeah check her out I think she's so cute so anyways that's it for me I hope this isn't too long Thank you so much for coming back and joining me. I know I've been not very responsive. Just a whole lot of stuff going on. Love you all. Thank you.